Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Marisa Marciano. I am a naturopathic doctor and a registered herbalist. And I'm gonna take a few minutes today to talk to you about one of my very favorite herbs, but especially this time of year when we talk about herbs to support our immune system, it's probably the first herb that jumps to everybody's minds, and that is, of course, echinacea. Uh, echinacea is one of the most widely used herbal medicines in the world, and so it's really important that we understand how it works and when best to use it. Uh, it started its reputation as a herb for the immune system really around the early 1900s. We have this traditional use seen by the eclectics where they recognized that it was the root of the plant as opposed to the aerial parts that had the most, um, the greatest effect upon our immune systems. And there are a few different species of echinacea. So they primarily were using echinacea angustifolia and echinacea purpurea, and extracting that root in a pretty high potency, high alcohol extract, I should say. So in a, a tincture form with using a higher, a higher level of alcohol than you might use for other herbs. And I think that's relevant because that speaks to what we currently know our understandings of the best use of echinacea is that we need a good alcohol extraction in order to get out the most potent active constituents in the plant, which are found in the root. And those are the um, acalamides and so, or the alkyl amides or you, depending on where you are in the world you always hear a little bit of a different pronunciation of the of that word but uh, essentially you know there's lots of constituents in echinacea that work together synergistically but it is the acyl amides that seem to be the most relevant for their immune modulating effects and uh, it seems very clear from the wealth of research that's been done around echinacea, even though we still don't understand it fully, there has been a lot done. Uh, and it, it, specifically, it's the acalamides that seem most responsible for effects within the immune system, specifically on our innate immunity to help increase phagocytosis and boost, in a way, our white blood cell counts or increase white blood cells, um, especially natural killer cells, for example. And so while that's known, I think that's created a little bit of reputation for echinacea to be used as an immune stimulant or an antimicrobial and uh, those really aren't the best ways to think about echinacea because what we know what's clear from a lot of the in vivo and the clinical research that's been done around it is that it's actually much more of an immune modulator which is the case with many of our plants in fact there's very few plants that are true immune stimulants in the way that you might think of an immune stimulant say as a pharmaceutical uh, they, they're much more modulators of the inflammatory response and also of our immune response. And so echinacea, well, definitely it can kind of help boost the body's um, ability to produce white blood cells and kind of raise its defenses against some sort of a foreign invader. It also can kind of tamper down an overactive immune response. And so that's why we refer to it as a modulator. And so it really is a herb that's best used continuously, kind of long term, so that the body, when it may encounter a threat, is better able to defend itself. But at the same time, if we're dealing with, say, an overactive immune system, it might actually help regulate and allow the body to deal with and, and have less of an overreaction to that immune response. So, uh, you know, and not only, I should say, a really interesting research coming out, uh, some, uh, a recent RCT actually just at the end of uh, last year showed that echinacea does have some anti-anxiety effects, which is quite interesting. And this is because those acyl amides are also able to bind to CB2 receptors and actually have a modulating effect within our endocannabinoid system as well. So still so much to learn about this plant. Um, you know, we can see that uh, the, the CB2 activation might help with our immune systems as well as maybe some CB1 activity um, there. We don't, don't know for sure yet how it's working, but potentially some work within our nervous systems as well. So a really powerful plant, one that uh, I absolutely love to take all year round, but especially at this time of year uh, to keep my immune defenses sort of at the ready. And uh, I hope you've learned a little bit something new about echinacea today. And if, uh, if you're not already considering using this plant in your own life and maybe in the life of your patients, it might be a good one to consider. Uh, thanks for listening. Stay happy, stay healthy, and uh, hopefully see you soon.